Uh, hi, I'm Alan Kenner, and I'm representing the Jewish faith uh, here at Havarat Shir Hadash in Ashland, Oregon. And uh, this year's theme of balancing solitude or individuality with that of the group or community uh, is something that Judaism has been acutely aware of for centuries. And even in our holiest day, a day of atonement, which we recently had, where we are doing a self-inspection, a kind of a, oh, I would say, a looking in at what we've done over the last year and, and taking an inventory of what we've done. We do this in a communal setting usually, which is ironic because it's such an individual thing to do. And yet there is a power in being in a group with hundreds of other people who are struggling to do the same thing, to really look deeply inside and say, how could I do better? How can I make the world a better place, both in myself and outside? And so this tradition uh, is a combination of, of communal prayer and individual prayer. So some of the prayers that we do in such a service are sung together, and some we do on our own. And this uh, prayer shawl that I'm wearing, uh, when we do our individual part, oftentimes we'll pull it over our heads and kind of be in a solitary space like that. And then we'll come back into the group. So this interplay between group and individual is constantly happening. And I'd like to share a song. Now this is a very, very ancient song. It's a song of peace. And this song typifies this concept beautifully. The translation of it, because the song is in Hebrew, the translation would be roughly, May the one who brings peace on high bring peace to each of us inside and to the whole world. So it's combining that individual and the whole thing all in one shot. Uh, so this is my uh, interpretation of the song. There have been many melodies and this is one that we sung here at the Havara for 20 years. It's called Ose Shalom. Thank you. May you have a wonderful Thanksgiving.